No my haere mai, and welcome to Tuesday Prose. Today I'm going to read a couple of paragraphs from The Young Have Secrets by New Zealand writer James Courage. The Young Have Secrets was first published in 1954. It's a particular favourite of mine because it's set in Sumner, which is where I spent many happy holidays as a child. So here we go. I'm reading from part one, chapter one, from The Young Have Secrets. The estuary beside the road and the tram lines broadened out towards the sea, then narrowed towards the bar of the spread river, with low yellow sand dunes on the far side of the water. On the near side, bluffs and cliffs of volcanic rock began to overshadow the roadway, reddish in the western light. Ten minutes later, there was a salty, acid smell of the sea itself. The tram rounded the last bluff, rattled over a causeway, and was suddenly, and at last, among the little houses on the Crescent Bay. The town was shut in its valley by high, wrinkled hills on either side, a U-shaped valley open only towards the beach and the dunes, with, at the eastern end of these, the tumultuous bar of the river estuary. A pier ran out a small distance towards the bar, over the flowing deep water. Close to the ramp of the pier, an immense rock, some volcanic afterthought, stood up from the floor of the beach, one hollowed side open towards the esplanade. This was the cave rock, a landmark to the township. Walter and Mr Garnet, pupil and master, left the tram at the far side of the town, where the line ended against the flank of Scarborough Hill. Usually Walter did not wait for the old man, but ran on ahead, up a side road away from the sea, towards the Garnet's wooden house. Tonight he stood on the footpath, anxious for the master to join him, watching the stout, seal-like figure approach without hurry over the grit and shingle of the road in the evening light. Thank you for listening, and until next week, enjoy yourself.